today for writing, you are going to be coming up with your plan for the next two-ish weeks for your research-based argument project. And remember, this is different than the project that you're doing in reading. The one in reading culminates in a debate, and I gave you choices to choose from, but you had to choose one of those things. This is totally separate from that. And remember, I'm referring to this as kind of your passion project, or it's something that you specifically are passionate about, whether it be something specific to you in your area or something that's more global. That is entirely up to you. You are going to have to um, share your topic with me uh, later today. Like what, after you finish your notes, you can come show me or we'll talk about it the next day because I want to make sure that you've chosen the right kind of issue. So these are your choices. This is posted here on this Canvas page, so you can go through them on your own. I am not going to read all of these to you, but these are your choices. And really, none of them are harder than others. I think there's a perception sometimes that something is harder just because it's easier for you. I think the idea is that everybody should be putting forth the best effort that they can. I will say the uh, brochure you'll be making, and then I'll print, print it off, the slideshow, you'll be sharing that with me, and then there will be a place on Canvas where people can come and look at it, so you won't be presenting it. For letters to key people, you'll be writing letters to actual real people, whether it's people that you know or people that you find online that are important in your field, like a politician or something like that. So this one is actually real people that you're sending the letter to, so think about that before you choose letters to key people. Um, it's stakeholders, and remember, stakeholders are people who have some interest in the topic. So you're trying to get people to change their mind or join your way of thinking. The TED Talk is three to five minutes, and you're going to record it yourself on Flipgrid. I will put the link below for that. But three to five minutes, for some of you, is no big deal. But I will tell you, three to five minutes can seem like a really long time. So if you're going to choose this one, I want you to set a timer for three minutes and notice how long that is before you choose three to five minutes for your TED Talk. Um, because you can't come up and talk for 30 seconds. That's not, that's not enough. Three to five minutes, like I said, can seem like a really long time if you don't have very much to say. I'd say the essay looks like it's a lot more work because it says five paragraphs, but it's really more cut and dry. Um, you're researching the your issue, then you're explaining it and you're just writing about it. So this is a little more what we normally do, a little maybe more comfortable for some people. And then the poster is a nice poster. So you're only choosing poster if you have the ability to create a good sort of advertisement or infographic about your topic. I will be honest with you, I wouldn't choose a poster for myself because I know that my neatness skills and my artistic ability don't match what I'm trying to say to people. So remember, this is a serious project. If you don't have what it takes to talk for three to five minutes, or you don't have what it takes to make an artistically beautiful poster or something that's good, a good graphic design, then you really shouldn't be choosing these two. All right, it's not that I'm trying to say that you're not capable. I'm just saying the reason why there are choices is so that you can choose something that you can shine with. So just take a look at this list. Like I said, it's posted right here on the Canvas page, as is the link for the TED Talk. And if you have questions about this, you can talk to me later today. In your notebook, you're going to be writing down what your topic is and your issue. So remember, your topic might be um, endangered animals, and your issue might be something like you don't think that people Maybe your issue is there should be a bigger fine for hunting out of season or something like that. So your topic is more broad, and your issue is what needs to happen. Your product is this. Which, which thing are you going to choose? And then your plan. In your plan, you can write down the sources you're going to use. You're going to use um, the links that I give you. Once I know what you're doing, I'll give you links. Are you going to use books from the library? Are you going to use books on Epic? What are you going to use? Are you going to interview people? Are you going to find photos? Are you going to find timelines for primary sources? Like, What are you going to find for your 
What are you looking for? Maybe for this, for sources, you can't say specifically because you don't have it yet, but what are you looking for so that it can speed up your search? And then when are you going to do what? How are you going to accomplish your, your product? And remember, this is due uh, next Friday, January 27th. And so after today, you really just have time every day during writing to do this. So it's not a bad idea to set up a little calendar. You have an assignment notebook. You could set up a calendar saying exactly what you're going to do every day. My suggestion is to do research for several days and then start the product. You're not doing a good job if you do the product while you're doing the research because then all you're doing is copying and pasting. So just remember that you have to make sure that it's in your own words and that it's something that you're passionate about. So today's the day to figure out what you want to do, how you're going to do it, and then how are you going to show us what you are advocating for.